to her, your sister has chosen the better way. What a thing to hear from Jesus. And Martha was not lazy. She was not improper. She simply was not filling herself up with the correct things and she was not opening herself up to what God had for her. And no matter how well or how poorly she did all those other things, they were not the things that were going to make a difference in her life anyway. A better way would have been to think on truth, to think on honor, to think on justice, to think on purity, to think on the good things, to think on the, those things that are commendable, and to think of an excellent way, and to think about praise. And as you think of those things, think not of yourself, but think of the one who is around you yes. and away from you. What a powerful prayer Michael prayed for Dylan Ruth. I could not help but think as he prayed it of something that most people have lost track of in the week since the killings, assassinations in Charleston. And that was when the police found that young man he said to them, I almost didn't do it because they were so kind to me. He needed just a little more time with them. Just a little more. Because they were opening up doors for him. And even though he chose to slam it shut again, he's out in the hallway. Amen. And there are still doors opening for him. I believe that you, like Martha's sister Mary, have chosen a better way. And I commend you for it. I wish you joy in it. And I pray that you will always remember, as you walk through these open doors, that there are still folks out in the hall, out on the street, at home, close by, who desperately need you to open the door so they might see God who is waiting for them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>